Good morning. It is a Tuesday. It is cold outside. We've got overnight lows in the Bay Area. Well, we woke up this morning in the upper 20s in some of the coldest spots. Frost advisory, freeze warning. It's going to be cold again tomorrow morning. We'll look into that. What we have going on, though, is a pretty fluid weather situation. In other words, we're heading into a wet period, but it's a, not a prolonged wet period. It's a big weather system. Wednesday night into Thursday, we'll probably see some urban and small stream flood advisories because of ground saturation already. A couple of inches of rain, certainly. That'll do it. Uh, but the nice thing is we're not seeing a lot of activity behind this system or in front of it. So in terms of big river flooding, some of the issues we've been running into this winter, we should avoid them, but it's going to be a healthy winter storm with an increase in snow up in the mountains, maybe three feet of snow now. That'll increase avalanche concerns because of the rain that we've seen, we saw earlier with some of those earlier atmospheric rivers. Uh, we'll get to it. We'll get to it all. Hope you're having a good day thus far. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, tell a friend. Be awesome. Uh, I've been doing this a little while. Not. I just kind of started leaning into this recently. But it'd be nice to, I'm not trying to make money. I'm just like, this is fun to do and it's fun taking you guys along for the ride and um, I like the whole process. It's weird. Plus, I'm getting ready to retire, so I'm like, it's kind of fun. I just like talking about weather. I mean, we all like talking about weather, right? So it's just a very natural thing. Um, okay, so Mount Shasta, just cause, right? Let's open this up. Let's do the first three hours. I love this. A little foggy this morning. Oh, isn't that dramatic? Oh my gosh. Mount Shasta, everyone. Okay. I love the way the fog wafts in and out of the valley. A lot of discussion about that, sort of how it switches directions. I suspect that the cold air settles in that valley and then wants to drain out the upper Sacramento because cold air right in the early morning hours, cold air has a tendency to want to sink, right? And so as it gets colder, the cold air starts to sink and wants to run out towards um, Redding. I think that could be it. Or perhaps it wants to go back towards Wairika. Either way, it's an awesome visual. Look at that again. Here is the satellite image. Let me see if I can pick us up. Here we are right here. And so you can kind of see, you got, you got some moisture coming in. Call it an atmospheric river. It's pieces of it for sure. All storms generally, not all storms, but many storms generally have pieces of subtropical moisture in them. And remember, atmospheric river's not bad, not that this is one, but not bad in that it's how we get most of our rainfall in California in the winter. And without atmospheric rivers, we don't have the climate we have, and we have, you know, different, very different, uh, you know, growing parameters, I guess, in terms of agriculture and other things. Okay, so let's start right off with the 500 millibar vorticity. And here we are. We're going to click through. Here is this little tweak that goes by, kind of goes by tomorrow on Wednesday, and it's nothing. It's just going to be a few clouds. But on Wednesday night, Thursday, there it is right there, winds up, comes in, punches through, and it progresses pretty quick. You see how it's on the, we're on the back side of that thing now? So that is Friday afternoon, Saturday morning, one more time. Long range, upper level jet stream pushes through. Snow levels are going to be variable, certainly above Blue Canyon, but they'll fluctuate right up to 6,000, back down to 5,000 throughout the course of this. And there it goes. And so what I look at mainly this time here, first of all, long range, looks pretty dry after that. But one of the things I look at in this, as we look at the models, is how quickly it translates through and what's in front and what's behind. We can take a lot of rain. We can take a lot of, we can take a lot of anything, especially in Northern California, but you just can't have the prolonged stuff, which we've had a couple of those earlier this year. So here's the sea level pressure uh, rainfall. Lines represent sea level pressure close together. It's windy. Sea level winds or rain. Here's that Wednesday system. There's Wednesday morning, right? Nothing. Here is Wednesday night. This is Wednesday night late. And there you see it coming on shore. And that's the system. This is about 4 a.m. on Thursday morning. This is Thursday afternoon. And then it kind of pushes through. So like I said, I mean, this is GFS. And it's still far enough out that we don't want to get too granular with it or try to. But the timing is everything. 
Um, as we get into tomorrow, we'll get more granular, maybe look at some of the faster update models. But here we are again. This is basically Thursday morning early. That's the main hit. There'll be wind. There will be rain. There will be snow. And it will be a classic February weather system with all the ingredients. And it's going to be wet morning commute for sure. Afternoon commute, not going to be great. And after that, what happens? Nada, nothing, right? So we're going to be able to get a lot of rain. And I think we will get a lot of rain from this. As a matter of fact, the model, let's just push this in accumulations. So you can see, oh, that's Francis, the little dog. Um, you can see we've got the heaviest rain showing up kind of southern Sierra Nevada and then up around the Bay Area, mainly down towards Big Sur. But these are the bullseyes. This is rainfall accumulation over that period. Uh, in Southern California, you're going to get a couple inches of rain. So that's, you know, that's going to cause some problems in the fire zones. But that's the bullseye. So Northern California gets wet. Central Southern California get wet it is a classic weather system. Here are the watches and warnings for, or not the watches, this is sort of rainfall estimates for our area for the storm. So, you know, two to three inches in San Francisco. I'd say more like Marin Headlands will be two to four inches. The East Bay will be one to two inches. It's just a good weather system. And again, not a lot in front of it, not a lot behind it. And that's what you want to see. So as we look at uh, Southern California's National Weather Service page, you can see Santa Barbara, three and a quarter inches. That's, that's a lot, right? That's a lot of rain up in those hills. So they're going to have, so we're going to see some flood advisories go up. They're going to get ratcheted up real quick, probably on Thursday morning, Thursday midday, and for all of us. And then they're going to come down pretty quick as well. But down in Southern California or, or down in the LA area, down in the fire zones, you are going to see flood watches and things like that because of the fires, right? So two and a half inches of rain down there will cause problems. So again, we're far enough out. I don't think we want to get granular and go hour by hour, but I think what we want to do is just go, okay, that's the general lay of the land. And then as we get into Wednesday and Thursday, Wednesday especially, tomorrow, we'll kind of just look at it more closely and time it out because the time is going to change, guaranteed. But the general idea is Wednesday night, Thursday, Thursday evening, tapering down. A lot of rain, a lot of wind, a lot of snow in the mountains. Three feet, maybe four feet, maybe more down towards Mammoth. Here are some of the watches and warnings around the country if you're traveling. This is all icy stuff, very icy. Rain, snow mix in this area. Cold up in the northern tier states. And let's see, we can take a look at the afternoon forecast. So here's where the rain is. If you're traveling, this will be for this afternoon. You can see a rain-snow mix out in the Carolinas. And then out in the Intermountain, Rocky Mountain region, you got some winter weather advisories because of snow. And then here comes our system on Wednesday night. So that's how that looks. We'll go to, I'm trying to move through this because we're looking at a lot of stuff. And I don't want to be confusing, but I also don't want to belabor because... Again, I think the models are great, but you don't want to live and die by them this far away from an event that is fairly significant. I mean, that's not, I'm not worried. I'm just more like, no, there's a good storm. Like, you know, it's, it's, I would say on a scale of one to 10, on paper right now, that thing looks like an eight with the wind. It's got, it's got everything, but it's got not much in front of it, not much behind it. Okay. Here is the Bay Area. Clouds are thickening up. We'll notice more clouds this afternoon and again in tomorrow. Beautiful out along the coast. Uh, what can you see here? Just Bay Area winter. That's what you see. This is Heavenly Valley looking down towards, kind of down towards Pyramid Peak, Echo Summit, Donner, or um, yeah, Echo Summit in that area. And then north towards uh, the, you know, um, uh, gosh, Homewood and those ski resorts. Beautiful day in Lake Tahoe. Hope you're one of those people who gets to ski today. This is Mammoth Mountain. Yes, it is. And this is uh, just showing you some of the Southern Sierra and how it's shaping up. And a lot of snow. And this next storm is going to be a straight up solid snow producer, solid snow producer. So again, Mammoth could go four feet, five feet of snow. I know. And Lake Tahoe could go three feet. The only concerns we have for that is that you've had, remember the rain from the atmospheric rivers, that layer of ice. So you're going to stack a bunch of snow on top of it, on top of the current snow, and on top of that ice layer. Sorry, my watch goes off. 
um, that current snow, you're going to have kind of a, a, a potentially unstable layer, especially in the first few days. Again, they'll do a great job controlling it. Oh, I should go back. That's Ocean Beach. Uh, small today. This is what I want to talk about. Surf is going to get ginormous on Friday, Saturday. In Hawaii, it gets big on Thursday. Friday, it, gets, it jacks here. Friday, Saturday, and a little bit into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. But it really gets big on Friday, Saturday. Big, like 20, 25 feet. Will it be noticeable? Uh, it'll just be frothy because the winds are going to be howling south, southeast. So it's not, well, you know, like Ma Mavericks will show but I'm not so sure it's going to be one of the days that the boys and the girls get out there and surf on it. Here is a steamer lane. Tide is high. We're still seeing lots of big swings from the high tide in the morning to the lower tide in the afternoon. That's happening now. You take three feet of water off of this, uh, you know, and drop the tide out. That starts to break and looks pretty good. You see the birds out there, a little bit of anchovy activity along the coast. It's a good day. It's a good weather system. This is California. This is what it does. So again, nothing really in front of it, nothing really behind it. So don't, don't buy into all the hype that will be hyped. Stuff will happen. Winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings, highways might 80 and 50 may close for a little bit, but it's short lived stuff and we can manage it. It's just what we do. It's not, it's a scale of one to 10. It's an eight. All right. Thanks for listening. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Okay.